fat. We are eating from the same plate. Uh -uh. You think you did relationship goals? Nobody did relationship goals like I did. You know? You've been intelligent from secondary school. You now go to school. Relationship now enter the matter. You now feel that ah, the next thing that should happen to your results, you that you're in the four points, you should drop down to a two point. I ain't share easy life. Did they cost you? Yoruba will say, Oh, we're polara in banilla, we can banilla, or we're Ah, deep. Ah, mokbo we, oluwa. It means that. Hi, darlings, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl again, Beauty Megan. You know what's up. <laughs> All right, so um, before I proceed into this video, I want to say a very big thank you on the love I got on my first time tag. If you've not seen the video yet, I'm going to be dropping the link up here for you to watch where I gave some juicy stories, you know. And in that video, a lot of people requested that I should um, make another story time and gist with them and get personal again because people are me, but people like just to watch. <laughs> but I'm here for all of that because ah, who am I if I don't give you gist? So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you more gist, hot gist, and I hope you have your popcorn ready. I hope you have your juice ready. You have to have a bottle of juice and a bag of popcorn because. <clears throat> It's hot to just before I start with this video I would like to put it out there that if anyone that was involved in that past is here watching this video I would like to say do not be mad we've moved on we're no longer in that space we're not big girls and big boys so let's keep it that way anyways um, from the video title the mistakes I regrettably made as a fresher in the university so the very first thing I did in school that was really annoying was um, making some set of friends. I would like to call that maybe term it friendship. Me being the kind of girl that was over pampered all through secondary school and my primary school, I was overprotected a lot by my dad, you know, the girl child and whatnot. So I didn't really like go out that much to like mingle with people and know people's behavior and know them for who they are and accept them for who they are i was not street i was ajebo i was almost get inside you get that term so having to now go into an environment where my parents are not there my family members are not there to like tell me oh beauty calm down oh this is what you should do it was quite hard actually because i remember when i entered school then Everybody was happy, everybody was making friends. In fact, on the first day I got to school, I already made a friend. And luckily for me, I did not get, um, I didn't have a roommate in Andre level. I was just the only one staying in my room. We were meant to be two people in a room, but I was lucky enough to have the whole room to myself. That means I have an extra bunk and I have the old toilet to myself, the whole room basically to myself. So, I should. I was in the place of um, inviting people to my room to say, oh, let's sleep over and whatnot. So the girl I met the first day I got to school, let's call her Tola. So I met Tola when I entered school the first day. She was jovial, cheerful, friendly, all over the place. So I met her and I didn't even know we were going to be studying the same course. Then over the time, I met another friend in my class. Let's give her uh, Lizzie. Yeah. So her name is Lizzie. So I met Tola and I met Lizzie. Now Lizzie on the other side is a calm person. She's not a goofball. But you know those kind of people that are just hiding in their shell. When people are alone, they are fun. That's the kind of person she is. So our friendship started and we now became inseparable. We're like ah two pillar of three pillar of friends. In fact, we called we called ourselves three musketeers because we were like all over the place everybody knew us wherever you see me you see Tola if you don't see Tola you see Lizzie like everybody was like always together because we had the same classes but the issue was just that our blocks our hostel blocks were now far apart from each other but the fact that I didn't have a roommate some of their things were in my own room so most of the times they would sleep over in my room so we could go to class the following day and whatnot so we're that close so there was this time in school when 
you know how you get to school as Angel level. I feel like it happens in every university. Angel level girls are always like the prey for the 400 level and 300 level guys, for the big guys of the school. Like they want to just get a girlfriend from Angel level, mess around with her because they know they are graduating very soon and they will never see you again. So that was like my own case because ah, I was a fine girl now. Mm, I had snatched body, tiny waist, you know. I don't know how I'm feeling myself. But yeah, I was, in all honesty, I was looking good for my age. So I had like guys, definitely, even if I'm ugly, guys would definitely come. It's not guys. So I had like guys like flocking around me and all of that. So there was now this guy that was in school then. It was raining. Everybody that had gone to Redeemer's University would know this guy. If you went in my set or a set before me, or maybe even a set after me, you would know this guy. So, this guy, let's call this guy Femi, because, you know, Femi is an heartbreakers, but his name is not Femi, really. So, let's call him Femi. So, Femi has, is known to be a bad boy, you know, heartbreaker. There was a day he now asked for my number. He texted me, and he said he wanted my number, and I gave him. And because I didn't want to be on anybody's bad side in school. I felt like I needed to please everybody and make everybody happy. That is another thing you don't... Hope you're writing it down. That's another thing you don't want to do. Don't be a people pleaser because it will hurt you. So I wanted to please everybody and make everybody happy. So everybody would be okay with me. Like seeking validation from people. So I gave him my number. We got talking. But now I realized that it was, you know, being funny and all. So... I wasn't really replying his messages that much. We just see in school, say hi, say hello. Then Tola and Lizzie got to know that, oh, me and this guy are talking and all. And maybe out of jealousy that his girlfriends, that Femi's girlfriends or Femi's girls must have had that he's talking to under level peeps. I don't know. I don't really know what really happened. The next thing I just heard that, um... People are going around saying that I sent my nude pictures to Mr. Femi. And I'm like, what? My nude pictures? And then my own friends, Stola and Lizzie, now came and confronted me with it. That, eh, I sent my nude pictures. And they don't like the fact that I did. Why would I take my pictures and send it to a guy? Why would I? And I'm like, what's going on? I never sent my nude pictures to anybody. Even if I'm so comfortable in my skin, isn't that like standing in front of camera and be doing cheese with naked body? Ow! I didn't send my nude pictures to him. Okay, tell him to go and bring the nude picture. Let me see. Then I say him that people have already advised them, girls in school, other girls that are there, like seniors, I've already advised them to stop working with me because I'm a bad influence. Ah! What did we throw? What are you giving me back? What's going on? How am I bad? I did send nude pictures. Where did you see the nude pictures from? Show me. I was now crying because I was naive. I was really in tears. I was heartbroken. And I was I was blowing things out of proportion because ah at that time nude pictures is a big deal. It's not now when anybody can just post a nude picture and say, Yes, I'm comfortable in my skin. So what do you want to do? That time, that was like five years ago. Nude pictures was like, eh? Me, I'm just coming out of secondary school. New pictures, what? And then it now became a news all around the school, everywhere in Andre level. That beauty center, nude pictures, beauty did this beauty. That thing just messed up with my mental health because I'm just entering school and we're already talking about nude pictures. But from that and one other thing which I'm going to mention, Dollar and Lizzie stop being my friend. There's a there's an adage that says that 20 friends cannot play for 20 years. My own was three friends didn't even play for three months. That's how bad it was. So another thing that happened that I felt really spoiled everything for me was when I got to school and it looked as if I was showing off. My own defense, I wasn't really showing off because that's how I am actually at home. I have clothes. She have no wear them. And that was when crop tops were like really, really raining. Crop tops were eating so hard. And I had a flat stomach. My body could carry a crop top and a short skirt. So why wouldn't I want to wear it? And maybe because the fact that clothes really used to look good on me. Because looking at all the clothes I took to school, no. There's nothing special about them. But then I've always been a lover, a freak of heels. I always want to wear heels because I'm short, I'm small. So wearing heels always make me look bigger. When I was going to school, I packed all my heels. 
I packed all my really nice set of clothes and I was wearing them to, I didn't wear used to classes though, but I was wearing them to church and maybe because of my kind of body and the way the clothes fitted and the eels and everything because a lot of people were not wearing eels to church on Sundays. So walking in and getting the attention has always been my thing, I'll never even lie. But it became an issue in school because not everybody would be up for that kind of thing then they now began to call me an attention seeker they felt that my normal behavior was me trying to seek attention like ow this is me even at home even in the hostel i'm a very everywhere kind of person i was now everything is under control because school showed me pepe i was everywhere i was jovial i was cheerful so why would you want me to calm down because you're not okay with that but now that i'm even defending myself i could not defend myself then i was just crying because i'm always like people don't like me what is it that i've done is it because of the good that mary somebody had to actually come to my face and tell it to my face that you only so much why are you always wearing this is only that i've got only that she's only that ah, ah. what have i won i've not won anything compared to what every other person is wearing that was even when vintage shirts was raining. I didn't have one single vintage shirt. So it wasn't like I was I was dressing based on the real trends. Like I was really being classy and trending. I was just wearing what suited my personality, my own style. And they were mad. But I'm going to not tell I'm going to tell you one thing. Do not, do not agree to such compromise. If that is who you are, please go ahead and show forth who you are. If you feel like you're doing too much. And maybe you should come but if you don't feel like you're doing too much or more move wear whatever it is you want to wear because at the end of the day it's your daddy's money or your money or wherever it is you're getting money from is nobody's business so wear whatever it is you want to wear and not going to make yourself a dummy for people in school so the next thing that happened again was me getting into a relationship or more that was all blue everything and it took me months to heal really because it still affected my self-esteem for a very long time in fact i got spiritual but i stopped praying the issue was that before i entered school i already had that mentality that oh since i'm not used to this old cgpa blah 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 thing that i needed to like you know get somebody who was already on the first class for him to like you know put me through and all but now i'm asking myself why did it have to be a guy why didn't i just look for a female that had a good cgpa so the person could pull me through beauty you like man no? why did they have to be a guy ah. well sometimes we are the architect of our problems so instead of me to go and meet a girl that was good that was you know doing well academically this man me i went to go and meet to. so as i entered school i told lizzie the calm one that ah there's this your because she had a boyfriend before we even entered school she had been dating the guy but the guy was like our senior in school so he had a friend and at that time they were in 300 level i mean i was just in 100 level he had a first class and uh, having a first class i was 100 level i'm here that somebody has a first class my head blew up that what you have a first class and you're looking this fine okay okay can something go on between the both of us that was always in my head so i was like ah, even if i have a relationship with him at the end of it, I was trying to convince myself that I'm only going into this relationship so that this guy is going to like pull me through my schoolwork and help me with my CGPA and not like I'm a daft person, you know. And Asha told Lizzie to help me talk to the guy. I used to see him, he used to wear these glasses because he uses glasses and there was something so spectacular about that glass at that time. Now that I'm talking about it, I was dumb. So anytime this boy enters the sun with his glasses, the 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 normal clear glasses turns dark like it just begins to go from normal clear crystal clear to turning dark and i'm always like wow oh more eh? you even have glasses that used to turn dark blow my head that was one thing that just blew me up that ah, his glasses used to turn black i found a boyfriend that was how I started chasing this guy. And then the way he used to work, it was just we you know wear shirt, wear trousers, tuck it in, look corporate. I think he even used to wear ties then. Then you know, uh, wear brogues, polished brogues. So it's a polish shoe. Confirm polish. 
carry those um laptop bags the next is already going to school with his glass and i'm always checking him out like ah to cut the long story short we started dating and the relationship was sour oh um, it was sour but when i was in school my parents gave me everything i always wanted so i wasn't really materialistic like that but this boy now went for school tour they took them to like some african countries and then he went and he came back and did not buy me common sweets and my birthday was approaching and you went to ghana you went to Benin republic and you could not even buy tobati again rubber slippers you know those kente rubber slippers so even if it's kente material how much is kente material you could not buy and i did not even get angry then it was just exhibiting some behaviors that were just funny to me but me i was ready to take all of that he spent that looking for first class boyfriend so along the way while we were dating we were already like a month into resumption that was when this particular fine boy in my class was studying the same course now resumed school now i'm going to put it out there for all the girls and even the guys watching this video never ever 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 make a mistake of resuming school and dating your colleague or your classmate or your classmate don't you ever see i use god name to beg you don't ever try it because whoa it's gonna end in tears your blood is gonna be boiling don't try it you can now decide to enter 200 level 300 level and say oh i've fallen in love with my classmates let me date the person at least you already know the person's behavior for a year but that the person is just resuming to you are just resuming you're already catching clues you're already catching feelings and i say okay i want to take my feelings to the next level next in relationship guy as you run inside you run outside simple equation there's no need for an yani it's simple like that so this guy entered school and i didn't even i wasn't even noticing him i was not looking at him but just normal colleagues he was a fine boy and girls were flocking around him all and lizzie were like ah always you know waiting after class to talk to him it was like ah new sensation in the school new fine boy but me i had a boyfriend now so i didn't even really notice him so one day taller the goofy one was I like, ah, that this guy, I should check him out now. That she has caught him several times looking at me in class. I say, eh, hey, hey, ah, let me find him. Okay, so where's the boy? And I realized he was sitting behind me. So I now took it upon myself to like catch him anytime he's looking at me because, ah, uh -uh, looking at a fine girl like me, let me know that you're looking at me. Don't be shy. So our eyes will meet in class. Then that was how the old, I was in a relationship, oh. Oh, so the boy now started catching feelings. Ah. And then it now became him telling me that oh he really wanted me this and this and this and he has seen the way my current boyfriend then was treating me and wasn't happy with that he was even beginning to report me to people that eh, i don't want to date him and i'm like i'm in a relationship so seeing how the guy i was dating to was doing yama yama i just told her onto that see i'm done i can no longer continue with this relationship and of course because i said i was done uncle decided to go around the school to be telling everybody in the school that while i was at home i used to like sleep around with guys and that's the same kind of attitude and i'm like sleep around the key at the age of i would so there were like so many rumors going around and the rumors were revolving around sex they were sexual and i'm like ah can you make me i'm even doing all this things people say i'm doing she should have been better i'm not even doing them and people are like and then i was always crying i did not do it <laughs> who is even the guys i'm letting the guy come out and come and say that i did something like this in the toilet but i was dumb i actually i broke up with the other one and we got dating the first few months of the relationship was sweet oh really it was sweet like the first three months i remember when i was even doing my birthday he went into the rain to get me birthday gift and i was like oh <laughs> that's the sweetest gesture right there and at that point lizzie and tola were like really really pushing me to go for that relationship because they were like the guy likes you now this one is not doing you well the way you're dating is not even doing you well and this one is even in your class you even know him better people even peer pressure I got into the relationship and after like the first month of the relationship my friend stopped talking to me and i was not left with the guy so instead of me now seeking closure from my female friends who had gone who had stopped talking to me i was seeking the friendship closure 
from my boyfriend then and it was terrible trust me it was really terrible the relationship was sad it was toxic at some point we're always doing drama in the whole of the school like this particular gist is is like meant to be another video on its own because i don't want this video to be too long but if you want me to talk about this particular story please let me know in the comment section i'll give this video a thumbs up and i'm going to be shooting it like almost immediately after i re release this one maybe two days after you get that story i was toxic it was like toxicity was just revolving around me and i would not say it's the guy's fault i would always put the blame on myself because i'm that kind of person i feel like i was just too lenient and i was too stupid and i was too dumb you know when your lecturers know that you're in a relationship that was how public the relationship was we were like always sitting down together in class we we'll go for breakfast lunch and dinner together in fact we we're eating from the same plate uh -uh. you think you did relationship goals nobody did relationship goals like i did in our school <laughs> you know i know the one that used to bust people's head and my friends still used to talk about up until now is the fact that we used to wear and co we used to wear the same clothes to shush sometimes like when we have like special events if i wear one we wear one ah there was this our our picture that was trending then everybody that had that picture on their phone i was wearing like a white skirt and a white kimono with a yellow top underneath then he was wearing wine and yellow too but it was not in form of suits or more Ah, that picture went viral. It was taken by Femi Abiola. <laughs> he took the picture, posted, and the whole picture was just going everywhere. It, and we didn't plan the shoot though, but we planned it after. I think we were doing Andre Level Sunday then. That was our relationship goalish we were. So we were like always seen to get. In fact, when we were going to church early in the morning, I'll wait for him in front of his hostel. It was that vibe. Man, I've left my hostel and I'll be waiting for him so that we can sit together in church. We did that till I was in 200 level. It was a year relationship, but all through that year, it wasn't peaceful. Aside from the fact that we were arming each other emotionally, we were also arming each other medically, like health wise. We were not stable together elsewise. I developed a lot of health issues I didn't know I had. And for somebody who had an issue with asthma, I was always so um, aggravated. So I always had palpitations. I was always up. Once I hear one thing that one person said about me concerning my relationship, my high blood pressure has spiked up. Next thing, I'm already gasping for breath. Next thing, I found myself in the L center. So me and L centers were like this. Most times, yeah, asthma doesn't come to you and tell you, oh, baby, I'm coming. Sometimes you feel like you have it under control. And sometimes it just blows out itself. So most of the times when I hear these things, I'm always like outside school like outside my hostel i'm always in the school area class area that's when one person will just come from nowhere beauty did you hear what they said about Mba? you've got to send you pictures again Mba? you're the cutting the toilet Mba? then the next thing my blood pressure is already high next thing, i'm already gasping for bread next thing my body temperature is already rising next thing i found myself in the health center so because of all of those health issues that were really going on outside everybody now felt that they said it that i was not trying to seek attention with my elder there's nothing really wrong with me that i just want to be seeking attention i like to be fainting i do not know that people like to faint in this world so i will have class and let me now point this out you see while all of these things were happening my results my cgpa remained the same i was on a 4.08 from the beginning of Andre level and all through the old toxic in fact while, while the toxicity of the relationship heightened my cgpa increased again from 4.08 i entered a 4.1 something during that period of the old bad relationship so when people tell you eh, don't enter a relationship because your results will not be good i feel that's a big lie if you are not smart you are not smart even if okay the thing is affecting your mental health you should not now be on a one point or on a two point out that is if you were normally smart, if you're not an average student. But you've been intelligent from secondary school, you now go to school, relationship now enter the matter, you now feel that ah, the next thing that should happen to your results, you that you're in the four points, you should drop down to a two point. Are you in sharing? Is it life? Did they cost you? That one is not an excuse though. If you know that you're already an average student, 
before you enter any relationship that will affect because relationships will definitely affect your mental health let me at least get to maybe 200 or 300 level because really when they tell you 100 level and 200 level are the times when you can build your results it's the truth though anything you carry from 100 level to 200 level is the same thing similar to the same thing you finish with in 400 level my potential in school was to actually be on a first class like be on a 4.6 4.7 4.8 that was how smart i was but because i was like losing focus this one was saying this one b was saying our own d was saying our own i was on a 4.08 at the beginning so to now improve upon that cgpa was a very big struggle by the end of the day I finished with a good GPA. GPA or not CGPA. I finished with the first class GPA. But my CGPA was not like a second class upper. That was almost sports, the whole thing. But all of it resulted from the things I had done in 100 level and 200 level. So if you're a fresher, don't be everywhere. I was everywhere. I already had a spot in Mana Palace where we used to eat. Everybody knows where I would be. And it will definitely be with the boy I was dating everybody knew me then so don't be everywhere sometimes they'll say be scarce well i would not say be scarce if you don't want to be scarce but at least don't show your face everywhere don't be in everybody's face all at the same time i was and it was because i was trying to seek validation i wanted people to like me people do not really have to like you honestly and in fact even if you are too nice they will hate you for being too nice even if you're perfect nobody liked jesus jesus had antagonists up until now that even jesus is dead and is in heaven well he has resurrected though but he's in heaven he's not alive on earth with us people still don't like him and people just used to vex when they hear the name jesus even evil spirits don't like him but what i'm just trying to say in essence is that people who want to drain you they want to milk you and take everything from you. And when they say that they cannot have anything to take again from you, they let you be. Yoruba will say, Owe polara yin bani la wo kin bani la owe je. Ah! Deep! Ah! Mokpowe! Oluwa! It means that people out there would always want to be with you when you're wealthy. But when you begin, begin to get to that poverty range, they will leave you. Nobody wants to be friends with somebody that is not okay. Don't let relationship be the first thing you want to go to school to do. It will wreck you. Especially if you now go and date somebody in your class. It will wreck you. If you want to enter a relationship, if you feel that God has ordained your marriage and that marriage is going to only happen from university, no problem. Just wait. Even God will understand why you are waiting. Wait. Test the waters before you dive into the ocean. You will drown, no? You will just drown and nobody will be there to tell you sorry. In fact, they will insult you on it again. So, I hope you've learned something from what I've said. And if you've not learned anything, ah, you have coconut there though. Because I don't know what I want to tell you again. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it to your friends that like Amebo like you. That like gist like you. Because I'm here for the gist. And I know that you too are here for the gist. So, share this to your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you've not. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want that gist on that my relationship. I'm ready to give it all to you. And I'm going to be seeing you in one of my other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye, darling.